Robert Galarowitz here, naturopath, nutritionist, chronic kidney disease sufferer, and the founder of Healthy Kidney Publishing. So I want to talk about how you can begin using exercise to help your kidney function and improve the status of your kidneys and the health of your kidneys. So behind me, uh, two studies I'm going to reference. One was from the American Journal of Kidney Disease in April 2004. And what that study really looked at was resistance exercises and how it lowered inflammation markers in kidney disease. Now, this is really important because with any form of kidney disease, you're going to have a degree of inflammation. And by lowering that inflammation, by suppressing that inflammation, you're going to improve the health of your kidneys. And you want to do resistance exercises probably about three times a week, which is, which is a really good start and a really good amount. And resistance exercises have to do with like mild to moderate weightlifting, um, also calisthenic exercises like push-ups. Now you want to do a full body routine and if you don't know how to do these exercises you know you, you want to look into getting maybe a personal trainer, looking at some books, find a video, something along those lines. But you always want to make sure you get the okay from your doctor first that you're able to do this and you want to do mild to moderate. You don't want to do intense. If you do very intense exercises you're, you're actually going to create more inflammation and potentially make your, your kidney health worse. So that's the one thing you want to do. Now the other study here was from the Journal of the American Society of Nephrology in April 2013. And what they showed was that people with chronic kidney disease who had a faster pace of walking lived longer. And, and what we know about exercise and walking is that you have better cardiovascular health. So this is another thing that you want to start doing. Walking is, is an excellent exercise. It helps the blood pressure. It helps your cardiovascular system. And now it helps the kidney and allows you to live longer. So begin by exercising three days a week, maybe start out with, with whatever's within your realm, five minutes, 10 minutes, 15, and continue to build over time and increase your walking speed. So make it an effort so that you can walk quicker, faster, and that's where the benefit was really shown in kidney disease. So with these two studies, what they showed combined was that you'll be able to lower your inflammation markers by doing resistance exercises also, what they found was that nutritional status was improved in people with chronic kidney disease. And that's, that's a great thing because one of the big things with kidney disease is a lot of people become malnourished because they can't properly utilize all their nutrients. So it improved their, it improved their nutritional status. And also, particularly with the walking study, was that by walking at a good speed regularly, it prevented premature death in people with chronic kidney disease. So you want to begin implementing these. They're simple, they're easy. You don't have to go out there thinking you're going to run a marathon or something like that. You need to do just some good exercise at your own pace and try to build uh, on, you know, on the time um, and a little bit on the intensity, but don't go too intense. So I'm Robert Galarowitz, chronic kidney disease sufferer, kidney transplant recipient. Take a look at my program, the All Natural Kidney Health and Kidney Function Restoration Program, which has many, many, many things you can do to help your kidney health. It's at HealKidneyDisease.com. That's www.HealKidneyDisease.com. Like this video, share it with your friends, comment on it. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, check out my YouTube channel. I got a lot of free videos on how you can help your kidney function. Thanks for watching. Bye.